Thank you for tuning in to another edition of the Vulcan Report. This end of day report is for trading on Wednesday, May the 3rd, 2017. Well, today was the FOMC, and they decided that the Federal Open Market Committee that they would leave interest rates unchanged, which is exactly what the market was anticipating. You guys knew this, those that follow this channel, because I've been documenting and showing you how the momentum has turned positive in the bond market, thus making yields fall. Okay? When yields are falling, they can't raise rates. They won't raise rates. They only raise rates when what? The yields are doing what they're doing here. All right? Doing what they're doing here. When bond prices go up, yields go down. When bond prices go down, yields go up. Here's where they're going to raise your rates. Here's where they're going to raise your rates. Won't do it here. Won't do it here. All right? This is a trend that has never really changed since the early 2000s. And right now, uh, bond prices are continuing to rise, so yields are continuing to fall. If you were in the real estate game, you would have let your rate float on up until this point then you would have went ahead and locked it in because this is where the rate bottomed out and now it's kind of working flat right now if the bond prices were continuing to go up which in all likelihood they they might then your yields will fall back down again but if this thing takes a nose dive then your yields will start going back up so we'll see what's up but as it stands, market's holding on this momentum on the bond prices. So the bonds really didn't move on this news. So the market is still staying within that range. Um, we've been around 152, 153, 154 at the, at the most. So that's kind of where we've been. It's like a two two point trading range right now in the bonds. Ah, uh, as anticipated central bank came in via the fed and smashed your goal down to the trend line all right we got 1239 trend line we closed at 1238 half therefore we have bested the trend line support on a close that is not bullish that is bearish also trading below the blue momentum trend line so this is a bearish sign for gold Next stop is the bottom of the Kumo cloud around the 1214 range. A close below there would open the door, open the floodgates to a free fall situation below 1150, which would be possible at that point. So we'll be watching to see what happens. But right now, it's not looking good for the precious metals in the near term. Silver is in free fall. You can see it's falling off a cliff. And keeping the chart like this, you can see that 14 is definitely in play at this point. And it's even in jeopardy of dropping below here. This is a this is a a big boulder falling off of a cliff. And it's gaining downside momentum. This does not bode well for a bullish outlook. But at some point I believe this is going to stop. And the next bull run phase once we get out of the Kumo cloud, it's going to be monstrous. But until then, we trade what we see, and that is a bearish picture. Looking at your natural gas, still held, holding strong above above the blue mine. Uh, uh, can't talk above the blue momentum line support at thirteen eighteen. A close above that this week maintains the bullish outlook and could get us rallying into that 350 range is what we're looking for close below it opens the door the trend line supports down uh, below the three dollar level i don't see that happening i see this thing making a, a run right but i could be wrong if it does and we know how to how to respond 
But right now it's looking like it wants to make a run to 350. Looking at your miners, we're in free fall in the GDX. It's screaming $18 as a target. Not looking good. Looking at your GDXJ, once again, free fall, 25 is in play. It's just not looking good for the miners. JDST catching a bid. It's not going to get back up to $800. Don't get too happy. All right. $827 is not where it's going. Uh, it will be lucky if it got to 100 based on this run. And last but not least, crude oil. I believe the crude oil inventories came out earlier. But it's of no matter. For those of you that missed the FOMC live webinar today, you missed the treat. Um, you missed our live futures trading segment. Yeah, that was a surprise that I threw in there. I did not advertise that I would be doing that. As a matter of fact, I did not know that I would be doing that. Everything was kind of spontaneous today. I did not plan to hold a webinar for the general public today. Normally on FOMC days, we just do a live uh, webinar segment for the traders in the trading room. But today we opened it up for the first time ever to the general public, especially the YouTube public. I sent out notification. I even uploaded a YouTube video prior to that, inviting those that wanted to come. The turnout was good. And we had a very successful uh, webinar. You missed our live trading segment when we shorted the crude oil and uh, made it made a decent profit in the trading today. So a lot of questions uh, were asked and answered. And I think the biggest question, which is the elephant in the room, is this guy full of crap? Does he really make money trading these markets? Well, I demonstrated it today with live money live markets, live accounts, live trading, nothing rehearsed, everything predicted, prophesied, demonstrated beforehand. We put on the trade during the web webinar, talked about the trade, we placed our we talked about where to place the stop, placed our entry point, set profit target objectives, explained what the price action was going to do and why it was going to do it beforehand, before it happened. Everything was done prior to it happening and explained and predicted and prophesied based on the price action. So the number one question was answered today. Can you make money doing this? Does he make money doing this? Do the people that follow him make money doing this? Is this really real? Is this fake? Is this guy just a sham? Is he just a marketer? And I think that question was asked and answered today. Lord willing, I will attempt to upload this to YouTube so that you guys can see it for yourself. And I think all of your questions about PulseWaveTrading.com will be answered in that video, in the webinar. You get to see it for yourself. If I'm unable to load it here to, to YouTube, I will attempt to load it to Dailymotion or Vimeo, one of those. And once we know what, what that's going to be, if the YouTube thing doesn't work, I will go ahead and... Um, Put a make a video and put a link description where you guys can actually uh, view it at. All right, so that's all we're gonna cover right now. Uh, remember, bulls make money, bears make money, and pigs get slaughtered. So remember to take what you can, give nothing back, and do yourself a favor. Come on over to PostWaveTrading.com. Get yourself a, an education that you will not get at Harvard or Yale. Learn how to trade these markets. Learn what the central banks don't want you to know. Uh, we have a trade study course that you can uh, available for purchase as as well as the learning academy 
Your monthly subscription comes complete with unlimited access to me, yours truly, the premium trading room, the learning academy, and a host of other tools, and the weekly post wave price triggers to help you to um, earn that money that you can so desperately put to use to provide for you and your family additional income streams. So with all that's being said, be encouraged and peace out.